Hi there, I'm Christopher, the founder and CEO of Sixpence, and today I'm going to be sharing with you about how we're changing the giving experience in community settings. First, let's talk about that giving experience. Odds are, over the last 12 months, you were probably one of the millions of Americans who bought, or perhaps even sold, some sort of product that you didn't really care about, to support a cause they actually did care about, probably quite deeply. Or perhaps you were one of the lucky few got to pay through an online giving form instead, however clunky or long it may have been. Either way, you're familiar with the fact that our giving experience itself is kind of detached from the rest of our community experience, and it's kind of transactional. Frankly, to date, we've treated giving like e-commerce, or in the instance of product fundraisers, just commerce itself. And that's resulted in pretty horrific success rates. The problem is we've built giving solutions for fundraisers, but we haven't built a good, smooth experience for the contributors and communities behind them. So we took a step back and we looked at, we asked what that would actually look like, a community-centric giving platform. And it resulted in Sixpence, a platform where the relationship and community is emphasized over just getting you from A to B, over the transactional experience, where participation and contribution are the values, where giving is a simple, ongoing background part of people's daily lives. Basically, we built this platform around two questions. Why do people give and why don't people give? We've got answers to both. Why do people give? We give because we all share a deep yearning for community, belonging, ownership, involvement with others and things we care about. Uh, and so we built a giving experience that's not centered around donate buttons and giving forms, but instead community. We first are invited to join a community, and from there, on a rolling basis, can see needs, posts, updates as a part of that community. As for why people don't give, cost and futility thinking. Rolled up into one summary statement, I didn't give to cause X because what I could afford to give wasn't enough to matter. Of course, what anyone can give matters. So we took technology that's been popularized in investment and savings to kind of take the dollar signs out of giving decisions. Roundups is one example of that. Instead of choosing to give $20, people are just prompted to give roundups on their daily purchases. Would you be willing to support our school with roundups on your daily purchases when you buy gas, groceries, coffee? Simply, it's an easier ask. And it also makes support of that cause a background part of their daily lives. We take a 4.9% fee on our uh, as our platform fee, which keeps our incentives aligned with those of our users. Basically, we don't make money unless they make money. Our beachhead markets are religious communities and schools. Both of these are fairly concentric. Religious communities tend to fundraise pretty similarly across the board, same thing for schools. Um, and they also represent a very large market. About $100 billion was raised this last year. Additionally, they've been kind of hard hit by COVID-19. So they're frantically looking for new giving solutions to help their communities continue to be involved, even if not as much physically. We, speaking of market size, that $100 billion there, $292 billion was donated in total by individuals in 2019. This, in the long run, gives us a pretty big pool to swim in. However, it's important to note that we're kind of on the ground level here. Less than 10% of giving last year happened online. It was surprising to me to learn as well, and I'm in the space. Um, but that shows that there's significant opportunity for growth, because I can tell you for a fact that my generation will not be writing paper checks or mailing cash as our donations over the next 30 years. We launched a pilot, uh, our platform about three weeks ago and are running pilots with five churches right now, which are in the process of onboarding roughly 300 members between them all. Additionally, each church on average has referred one other church to us, showing strong potential for network effects. Our team covers all the bases, from sales, marketing and product, analytics, software development, we've got it all covered. Additionally, we bring a wide depth of industry expertise and networks. Uh, I myself came up with Sixpence while I was fundraising. I fundraised as a professional, and as a development director, and as an amateur fundraising for community causes. We get it, we understand what works, and we understand what really doesn't. Right now, we're raising a $400,000 seed round, which will put towards continued development and sales and marketing resources. We expect this will lead, will lead to 1,000 communities onboarded and 50,000 uh, users by the end of 2021. Our target is reaching 1.5 million ARR by end of year 2021. Think about your own communities and how you participate. 
And especially in light of the last six months, what's that participation look like, especially financially? Right now, a new solution to giving and community participation is more needed than ever. So I would love to invite you to participate in our efforts with Sixpence, whether as a, a participant in our seed round or by sending a cause our way. Thank you. We'd love to have you on board.